She tries to guilt me into thinking that I shouldn't have quit gymnastics. It's like a broken record. You ungrateful child. I try to give you all kinds of experiences and all you show me is disrespect. I don't know, just something I want to do with my life. Like a school activity or something? No, I think it has to be bigger than that. Calling what they did to me a prank. A simple prank? And you want to talk to them? You coming to the party? Yeah, me and Rachel here. We're not finished here, Benton. I am. Take some men and go back to the site. I better be able to trust them because if anything happens, I'm looking at you. We'll get it done. It's time I paid my sister a visit. this morning. You running away from us? No, not at all. See, I missed first period. Had to talk with the counselor. Got a feeling you had something to do with that. Oh, because you can't take a few practical jokes. I think we're well past a few practical jokes. You know, ribbing, teasing people, it's all a sign of affection. <laughs> you should consider us the best friends you have. That's right. It's all in good fun. <laughs> it's Oh, good fun. What the hell? Bathroom's closed, man. Get out of here. Whatever. Get out of here. We can make it more fun for us and a whole lot less fun for you. I promise you, Benton. I don't think that would be good for your all-American career. What? What'd you just say? Did you just threaten me? No. I'm just saying. How about you stop just saying before you can't say anything at all? I run this school, pal. And my dad, Chief Donald Douglas, he runs the police. So don't do anything stupid. Hey, get him out of here. Hey! No! Ah! Oh! Ah! Oh! No! Stop! No! Stop! Don't step on any of that! Stop! Today just isn't your day. Don't it? touch any of it. Just leave me alone. Fine. It's just trying to help. Well, if it isn't my sister, Rebecca Rose, imagine my surprise at seeing you here. What do you want? I want you to stay off my turf. Your turf? You hardly have a block to call your own. You're gonna pay for the money that you cost me. I hate to resort to such bloody in-game sister, but you're pushing me in that direction. I just wish that you would see that I'm the Rose to run this city. Don't you dare talk down to me. I am just as smart as you are, and I didn't need a bunch of fancy degrees to tell me that. No, you aren't. And yes, you did. But it's okay. I understand your limitations. I don't think that you want to do that. Even you can see that you're not in a particularly good position. Dad and I talk about that often. Shut up. Hmm. We talk a lot, Dad and I. In fact, we're gonna go to dinner in a few weeks. Shut up now! 
You know, Dad keeps such a busy schedule, but he always makes room for me. He does say he wishes you would call. I'm not going to call him. I won't. And you don't talk to him anyways. You're just saying that to screw with me. Am I? Am I really? Can you really be certain of that? Yes, I can. I've got eyes and ears in your operation. How else would I know about your special projects? You should really invest in some tougher guys, sister. Snap a couple of limbs and they start singing like canaries. So, you might think that you're a few steps ahead of me. And that's fine because I know exactly where I stand. And soon, so will you. I, I tried to tell him, Joseph, we weren't prepared. I, I really did. Nonsense, nonsense. We're certainly ready any time the good Senator Jeffrey Rose wishes to see us. Let's not pretend this is any sort of social visit, Joseph. Right, right, right. Uh, you want to see the good stuff? Not a problem. As you can see here, we've got some pretty inventive things happening here. Looks like a big old steaming pile of sci-fi crap, Aldrich. I assure you this is science fact, not, not fiction. If I can just get some support from the department, I can... No, I doubt it. that will happen. What? We need real technology that can apply to our brave men and women in the field. You may have sold others on this, but I cannot see throwing my support behind some sort of Saturday morning cartoon crap. Sir, you should seriously reconsider. Some of the very tools that we use now were once thought of in the same way. Yeah, teleporters, laser weapons, sure. But most of that technology was dreamed up by people looking for a better way to shoot our enemies or drop a damn bomb on their heads. That is the kind of thing we can and should be working on. Hypnosis guns? Really? You seriously expect me to take that into the Pentagon? Hey, Mr. President! Hey, Mr. Secretary of Defense! I brought you a hypnosis gun! A freaking hypnosis gun! I humored you by reading your report, sitting through your little demonstration. I have real man business to get back to. Reality to get back to. You were supposed to get me in good graces with the president for his help on my re-election campaign and oh man, you failed. You failed miserably. This is Senator Rose. Oh, yes, sir. How are you? Omnicorp? Well, sir, I am not sure that what they're working on is something the U.S. government should invest its time and money into. Yes, sir, I know I promised you results. I appreciate your faith in me. I believe I can still deliver. Now, about that other thing. He hello? Hello? Son of a bitch! This is Senator Rose. What? How dare you call me on this line? No, you can't just call to talk to me, ever. Come on, Jamie. Go with me to JR's party. Don't make me beg. Fine, fine. Just don't wear that shirt. So then what are we doing tonight? Uh, tonight? Well, I uh, promised my dad I'd help him with some house stuff. Oh, oh cool. cool. So when do you want me to help out? Uh, I'm thinking he wants to have some father-daughter time, you know? Oh, it's okay. I'll find something to busy myself with then.
Work stuff? Very important work stuff. Tinkering with it all week. The Department of Defense rep just laughed us out of the building. The situation's unacceptable. I'll fix this myself. God. I was hoping that I left it. I left it at the office. Damn it, I'll, I'll be back. Or not. That's, that's fine too. Show Rachel what I got. I got it, Dad. I'll see you guys later. Not a minute past midnight, Rachel. Right, Dad. I just got a detail. It's cute. She wants me. It was just too over swag, and there might be gold diggers here. Chains, not a good match. He has big windows. So, mm. so. You like what you see? Yeah. yeah, we do it big here. Real big. You're not compensating for anything, are you? Me? Nah. Not at all. Trust me. You paid, right? Yeah, you did. All right, good. Thought you said you didn't have to pay. Whatever. We're here, aren't we? <laughs> wait, just wait here. I need to get something to drink. You want me to just stand here? Uh, yeah. You're my honey. Smack them. Objects in the house, and your phone's your source of entertainment. 
There's just so much to do here. I just don't know where to start. <laughs> <laughs> you look as out of place as I feel. Sure is that much, huh? Just a little bit. But it helps that I know how to read people. Probably if I didn't lie to my best friend about coming here, I wouldn't feel as bad. No, lies are a funny thing. They never turn out the way you plan. No, they don't. Quiet hammer. Rachel Buchanan. So are you a friend or just part of everyone else that wanted to be here? Actually, uh, my mom told me to come. That's a first. <laughs> Never met a mom that encouraged her kid to go to high school parties, knowing what kind of stuff goes on there. Or maybe I'm just jaded from the mom I have. Oh, well, I mean, we move around a lot. But she figured it'd be a good idea for me to meet new people, new friends, since I'm going to be moving to Hill High. Not really, but hopefully that's changing. <sighs> All right, everyone just chill out. Well, we have a speaker problem. I guess we had the music too loud or something. Nothing to cry about, except maybe my new speakers. <laughs> but I have backups. Josh? I don't know, man. Sorry to interrupt your little party, JR. Oh, wait. I'm not. But what I am here to do is get something off my chest. Who are you supposed to be? Someone that, for whatever reason, you decided to have a problem with. You got problems with me, man? Let's settle it. Face to face. Man to man. You all have pushed me aside, kicked me, hurt me in ways you can't even understand. And you think there will be no repercussions? It's not funny anymore. No, it never was. Never! what I'm talking about. You care nothing about me. So I won't care about you. <laughs> If we're all done panicking, we can get on here. What do you want? Respect? Apologies? I got a bit of a list going. The point is, it all starts with JR. Like I've ever done anything to you, you stupid bookworm. There. There's an example of it, right there. You just don't learn. You never will. It worked. <laughs> They're all out. Not that I would have doubted my father's innovations. I'm so 
sorry, Benton. I'm sorry I ever picked on you. You're the coolest boy in school. <laughs> oh, I almost wish you could be conscious for this. In about oh, ten minutes, you will be. Then I will flash you again. 911, what is your emergency? I need help. A kid from our school is attacking us. Okay, ma'am. Just try and stay calm. Calm? He's shooting death rays from his hand, and now he just hypnotized everyone. Death rays? Yeah. I don't know what else to call them. He hypnotized people with his death ray? I know it sounds dumb, but- This line is for serious emergencies only. We have no time for prank calls and practical jokes. We have logged this number for our records. Goodbye. So much for the cops. Somebody has to stop him before he does something drastic. <laughs> I think that's enough. I'm sorry, what? I said that's enough. You don't need to hurt any more people. I think they get the point. Oh, no. No, I am just getting started. Look, we've never really spoken to each other before, given our grade differences and all, so I don't really know you. But for whatever they did, you're going to be facing some pretty deep consequences for this. Are you threatening me too? No, I was... A nimble one, aren't you? A cheerleader? I really hate them. You can't hide from me! Great plan, Rachel. Now what? How's this for a plan? That girl. Get her. Put her down. Chris, what are you doing? The flash device scrambles the senses for a time. A side effect is the ability to fill the mind with basic commands. Snap out of it, it's me, Rachel. I hardly think that will work. <laughs> so I'm going to have to put you down too. Not that I'm exactly sure how to do that. Enough! I must say, I could get used to this. I wouldn't. I'm sure they use a different kind of mind control in jail, buddy. You tried to help me pick up my stuff at school. Huh, I remember that. I'm sorry for pushing you. I don't have a beef with you. I have it with everyone here. So, just line up, get flashed, and this will all be over soon. With no harm done, I assure you. If you don't have beef with me, then let me go. Let these people go. I understand where you're coming from, getting picked on. No! You know nothing about me. This goes way beyond getting my head dunked in a toilet or tied to a flagpole. Then... Then what? Talk to me, let me help you. I'm not like the people here. But you are here. You're here because you want to be just like them, don't you? Well, I... Exactly! Who are you to empathize with me when you are just like the people who did this? I didn't want this! These people, my father, they have forced me to this level. You may have a reason to be mad, Bitten, but this is all you. All you. No! I, 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 I'm sorry. Uh... I'm really sorry about this. Really? That's all you 
matters is my dad's gonna lock this idiot away forever. Chris, are you okay? Oh my god. Who hit me in the balls? You don't remember? No, the only thing I can remember is some girl helping us. I think. <sighs> you wanna help me? What? With them. That's sore. You were out of your mind, perv. Ouch. Wyatt? Uh, what? Kids are real kook? Benton Allridge remains in police custody tonight after attacking fellow classmates at a party. Where the story gets strange is the alleged attacker's claim that he was stopped by someone, someone he calls Party Girl, to whomever will give him a chance. Whomever this girl is, she saved a lot of lives tonight from this young man's wrath.